Good day everyone and welcome to our class. This is The Contemporary World and this is Sir E, your instructor for these course and welcome to our session this morning. We're just concentrating on globalization of other things. Let me remind everyone that the slide materials I am using right now is so solely owned by Professor Jet Oliver Castilla. So why don't we head on to our discussion. This is again globalization of other things. Now aside from political ideas, economic systems, cultural and social networks, there are many other things that have globalized by virtualization. Say, for example, with regards to plants, those that naturally grow in a certain place but not in another, or what we call as endemic plants, have already transferred into other countries and were exported and imported worldwide. Say, for example, when we talk about these endemic plants, in Central and South America, we have the avocado, chico, strawberries, corn, coffee, okra. Tomatoes, tobacco, papaya, guava, and calabaza. Say, for example, in the Far East, we have rice, durian, duhat, abaca, lychee, lanzones, rambutan, caribou, mango, sugar cane, and tea. In Southeast Asia, these are example of endemic plants. You have the cinnamon, the Indian tree, the Indian mango, while in the Middle East, you have the dates, olives, and fame. But because of colonization, these plants got dispersed to other places. The Manila Acapulco Galleon trade back in the 15th and 16th century was very much instrumental to the dispersion of these plants. Now, Mexican fruits and vegetables entered the Philippines and were grown here, while sugar and tobacco were grown. Spanish colonies. Aside from the plants, there were languages that were confined in their respected birthplaces. Say, for example, Spanish was only spoken in Spain at that time, Portuguese in Portugal, English in England, and France. But because of colonization, Spanish is now spoken in most Central American countries and in most South American countries. Portuguese is now spoken in Brazil, and this is the largest Portuguese nation in the world. And French is now spoken in Quebec, in Canada, in many African and Caribbean countries, and the islands. While English is now spoken in North America, Indian subcontinent, many African countries, in Oceania, and in the Philippines, it is the most widely spread language and the international business language. While recently, there are three Asian languages which are starting to spread globally. You have the Japanese language, the Mandarin, and the Korean language. Due to colonization, trade, migration, and many other factors, trademark food and beverage of many nations have, already, have also spread worldwide. They are now available in specialized restaurants and super worldwide. Today, Coca-Cola has almost penetrated all if not uh, all countries in the world and many say that it has surpassed the gospel so. in now we see the following worldwide uh, food available to humanity we have hamburger spaghetti pizza sushi kimchi pancit pies tortilla nachos shawarma chocolates bibimbap so we see these beverages worldwide also, like Coca-Cola, coffee, tea, beer, vodka, and tequila. You also have red wine and soju. While when we talk about sports, certain sports were just confined in one country before. Um, basketball, volleyball, and baseball had their origins in the USA. In England, they got cricket and rugby. In Korea, they have Taekwondo, and in Japan, they got Judo, Sumo, and Karate, while they have Kung Fu in China and Sepak Takra in Malaysia. But due to colonization, mass media, and many other factors, these sports are now played worldwide. There are now world-governing bodies for most of these sports, like FIBA. They are even played in the Olympics. And in China, there are over 300 million registered basketball players. These are the top three most popular sports in the world in terms of viewership. You have basketball, football, and swimming. Well, most of the world's religions originated in Asia. You have Judaism, Hinduism, Taoism, Confucianism, and Buddhism. These world major religions had their origins in Asia. Judaism originated in Israel. Hinduism had their origins in India, 
China had Taoism. China also had Confucianism, and India gave birth to Buddhism. While Israel also had Christianity back in the first century, and Islam in the Arabic Peninsula. Today, Judaism has spread worldwide due to the Jewish diaspora. Some notable Jews that we know at the moment are Adam Sandler, Zac Efron, Steven Spielberg, whom you can see on your screen, and Albert Einstein. Drake. While Hinduism is still practiced mainly in India, its doctrines are globally spread out. The following everyday terms we hear have their roots in Hinduism, like karma, reincarnation, next life, past life, soulmate, and yoga. The Beatles have converted to Hinduism at one in their life. Although Taoism was practiced mainly in China and Korea, its beliefs are globally spread out. The following everyday terms we hear have their roots in Taoism. The positive and the negative vibes are the yin-yang, feng shui, bagua, eternal struggle of good versus evil. The Taoism symbol is even on the old Pepsi logo and the South Korean flag. While Confucianism, while having its roots in China, they are globally spread out at this time. These terms have their roots in Confucianism. The Golden Rule. The Chinese martial arts are the hand-to-hand -hand combat. Now remember that Confucius was against the use of weapons. Thus, his followers developed a fighting technique without the use of weapons. However, when we speak of Confucianism, that was not originally intended to be a religion, but as a social philosophy where people had to bear with each other and to make relationships work in a way that is peaceful for each other. Now, these Confucianism quotes are what we see every day. Say, for example, a journey of a thousand miles begins with a single step. That was a quote coming from Confucius. And another, choose a job you will love and you will never have to work a day in your life. That is also from Confucius himself. Now, although Buddhism was originally from India, it has also spread to the entire East Asia, mostly in mainland Southeast Asia, East Timor, and Sri Lanka. Today, we see lots of Buddhist statues in many places and in homes. When we say, Buddha bless you when somebody sneezes, that's actually a Buddhist concept. The world's most famous Buddhists are the Dalai Lama and Phil Jackson. Now, let's talk about it. Islam. Now, although Islam was originally from the Arabian Peninsula, it has spread to the entire Middle East, North Africa, and most of insular Southeast Asia, and even in the Western world, in Europe, and in the United States. It is one of the world's fastest growing religions in the Western world, as many Westerners are attracted to its strict and holistic discipline. Some Westerners who converted to Islam were Lu Alkindor, or whom we now popularly know as Karim Abdul Jabbar, and Cassius Clay, who changed his name to Muhammad Ali. Now, when we talk about Christianity, we all know that it began with Christ and the first church in Jerusalem as found in Acts chapter 2. Today, it has spread to almost the entire world, and of all religions, it is the most aggressive in spreading its teachings to other people, and this is what we call as evangelization. Christians believe that Jesus commanded them to do so, as espoused in the book of Matthew, chapter 28. In the 1990s, the only place that Christianity hasn't penetrated is the 1040 window. This 1040 window, as you can see in your screen right now, is a map where these are are the countries where the gospel has not been spread. The 10 degrees south latitude up to the 40 degrees north latitude, or what we call as the 1040 window. These are mainly Asian and North African countries. But now, 30 years later, with the help of technology and recent geopolitical developments, Christianity has taken great strides in bringing the gospel to these places. And that wraps up our discussion on globalization of other things. And this is the contemporary This is Sir E, your instructor for this course. Thank you for joining me today. Stay safe, stay sane, and stay strong. God bless you, everyone. Until we see each other next time.